everyone, it's Zeke again. Today, I'm going to show you the video about making the board. Here is the board. So I'm going to full screen the microscope, which currently has the board in frame. Sorry if it's a bit shaky, it's just that it's a microscope and it's very sensitive. This is the inductors here, and in a second I'm going to show you my calculator for calculating inductance, but this is what we're going to try to achieve today. Make all the caps, make all of the inductors, and have a great time. This is the board with no components. This is the board with components. This is what we're making today. This blank board is what we're going to use these nice little breadboard wires and we're going to wind them up around our mandrels we have our little winding thingy this is another thing that we'll be winding our wire around and then we also have a wooden bamboo stick we're just going to be using the round tip at the end so we're just going to go around this section of it that's our mandrels. That's what we're going to wind our wire around today. Let's get wrapping. Now I'm going to put on the screen the inductor calculator. This is the inductor calculator. The link for this will be in the description up here. Now, see these diameters are in inches. That's because we have a non-metric caliper here. It's non-metric, so we found a website that does inches. There are a lot of different inductor calculators, uh, and they do not all give the same values. This one is easier, but the other ones, what I will make all of the inductors using. So I'm going to base it off of this board. Now what we do is we can start winding. We can look at our board here. We can see that it has a lot of different things. So we're going to start with this one right here that's a two winding around the wooden stick so we're just going to take our orange breadboard wire oh no i only have one i guess i didn't think of that before the video i just got some more wires here what we're gonna do is uh, to measure is just take our calipers our handy dandy calipers measure the size of the thing that we're wrapping around it looks about 0.361 inches is the diameter so 0.361 and then we have the length the coil length in inches that's going to be 0.2 and then we also have the number of turns and 0.2 because that's the spacing between our inductors on the board so the number of turns, we will figure that out by what this number says. And so we're just going to start at a number of turns, two. Calculate. These numbers are, are our nano henries. We have 36 nano henries. I have my wire. I'm just going to stick it in the hole. 36 nano henries. So let's see what we need. This schematic is from the person who I got this from. It's available online, f made by uh, Ron W6ZQ. And we just wrap two windings. I'm just kind of copying what is on here because we know it works. From here on, I'm just going to turn us to our microscope and uh, get started winding. We put our mandrel in here wind two turns like this and take our mandrel out and set it aside and then we keep doing that so we take our mandrel and we can see here we have a another one now this one you can use the same process it's on the syringe as we can see when i stick the syringe through it fits i don't want to mess it up because it's pretty sensitive to change so we're just going to do a three winding on the syringe here. So we're just going to take a little orange wire, hold it here, and just do wrap, and then wrap, and then wrap. And we can see we have three windings here. 
then we can take this, just bend it into position, like so. And now we can put this one aside as well. And we can keep doing that for the rest of the board. And that's pretty much what you have to do. Now, as I said in the last video, I was going to talk about the bands and why we're doing this. The bands are the 70 centimeter and the 2 meter, like always, and also because it's the ISS and the bands we have, and it's a triplexer, not a diplexer, because we're also splitting 13 centimeter for our camera and our computer chip for tracking the International Space Station. Now we can go ahead and start winding the last one in the back row, which is this red one. And uh, I'm going to just pause it here and let you guys do the rest and I'll catch you back for the last one on the 70 centimeter. All right, so we finished winding, as you can see all those windings there, and they will go here and here. Now we're not going to do the purple windings because we don't think that the 13 centimeter needs them. It doesn't need to be that accurate because, well, we're not transmitting that far. It's not like we're transmitting to space. All right, so we have a little blue cap here as an example for of the caps that we're using. They're little tunable caps. And I use this little thing that we clipped off right here. You can see it. It came with our oscilloscope test wires for the reason I don't know. Anyway, um, they just do this. They you can turn these caps inside and they it changes their value so you just stick it in there twist and pull out and it changes the value so now what we're going to do is just take all these inductors and put them in so we can see the big one on here here goes right here like this the next size one goes here and we put the one right here one winding right here uh i'll show you the use of it later all right then we have the two winding red it goes down here we have the three winding red it goes right here and we have this one which solders on the back. So we'll get to that later. Stay tuned and 73 as always. Characteristic dipole impedance.